Scott, this all stems from a video that Paul and Cars himself posted to social media from Ohio, where he traveled with his girlfriend to view the eclipse. Here's a look at that video that drew widespread criticism on social media. It's nice and sunny where I am, and there's lots of people here, but unfortunately, it is not Erie County. It is Ashtabula County, Ohio, at the Ohio Welcome Center. Uh, looks like it's going to be a good place to watch the eclipse. Unfortunately, we drove straight through clouds all the way through New York up until the Erie PA, so I don't have a very good feeling for everyone back home. Lots of people in Ohio, lots of people in PA, uh, but I wanted to see this in person, so here I am. Now, we caught up with the county executive at a community center in Lovejoy, where he was holding an event for his Live Well Erie program. Polencar said he's an astrological buff who's been waiting for years to see the eclipse. And he said he has no regrets. How do you respond to people who say that, you know, it just seems very maybe out of touch uh, for the county executive to be not just in another county, but two states away? Do you have any regrets about going? Would you do it differently if you could, if you could do it again? Where we went is basically no farther than, it's actually further to drive to Syracuse than it is where I was. It's, it's a drive I'd taken hundreds of times. I know I'm getting critiques, especially from those that are political adversaries of mine. I get it. This is a political business. That's what happens. Because uh, you are making a difference in ensuring... ...to say that he was in that constant contact system. with county's emergency services department, and polling cars also said 911 calls were lower than they would have been on a normal Monday. Now, the county executive stressed that he didn't make the decision to leave the county until it was clear that there would be no logistical issues. He also said that he was available by cell phone throughout the entire day. On your side in the studio, Charlie Speck, Channel 2 News.